Okay, so before I start editing this, I just want to throw this in. If you have any products that you want me to look at, review, do review for you, for your business or something, a great way to start out is by sending it to some people. And if you want to send me products to review, you can do my um, address down below for you to send me stuff. And I surely will check them out either, depending on the products, either I will do a video just on one product itself or a video on pro on different products together so it just depends on what products are sent to me I'll open them up all in separate videos but then I'll do what I need to do from there and that's that's all I have to say about if you if you really do want to send me products from your business maybe you have a friend who has a business something and that business isn't going well you just maybe want somebody to review it, you can send me my addresses down below in the description as long as, along with my social media. So please feel free to send me stuff. So hey there YouTube. So have you wondered what it would be like to replace a um, this LG Optimus L70 or a LG Optimus F6, F10, um, or L9, or I mean L9, or L9D, something that looks exactly like this, where the back looks exactly like this. So I will show you how to take this apart. Let's begin. So I took the battery out. I took the case off the phone. So basically, this is for those people that already have some sort of um, tool set. Me, I had the tool set too. It's New Link. It is a really, really fancy tool set. It comes with a little tool to pull up. It comes with a screw, a screwdriver, um, all the stuff I need. So, I mean, you, you get the gist. So, what you're going to have to do is there are some screws. I lost one already, but there are screws. Throughout the device, the regular small head screws. Either you have your own screws or you use pre screw See, I lost one already. So, what you do, you find your screw that you are using. None of these will actually work for this one. You find the screwdriver you're using. You put this off to the side, sort of. And then you insert into your tool kit itself, into your screwdriver bit this and you start unscrewing some screws so I will unscrew some of the screws and I will cut to the video when I have all the screws unscrewed so I took a, so I took out all the screws are right over here and I forgot to mention if this is a device with this perfect screen but you just want to take it apart because you want to replace the power uh, board and you don't want to scratch the screen don't go like this place it on a on some sort of um, cloth material like microfiber cloth or something that you can use to place it on but now what you're going to want to do is you can put the screwdriver to the side you're going to want to keep the bit in there because there's no other screws that you need right now so you put all that off to the side make sure you don't lose the screws and then you're going to take a um, some sort of way to pry you can either ruin your screwdriver by prying with that you can use your fingernails which is actually pretty hard or you can take a prying tool uh, Tar pick or a credit card at some point. Um, this one's this. See, that's not what you want to do. And that was really easy. Apparently, this was a uh, cheaply made sort of, but it's okay. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start from one side. You're going to want to start out by, if you can, use your fingerprint or fingertip or you try to pry it however you can I don't want to break it um, you have to pry it however you can there, I got that part up up here and then from there you can just pry some more um, I'm going to pry down here too you want to start on some of the corners so it's easier to, to get out over here and then from there, it'll start prying a little easier. 
Um, let's go. And then the buttons, you can just pry over those too. There we go. Now I got that off. So basically, right over here, I don't know if this is on all the motherboard around here, but this is sort of what the motherboard is on each one. It goes around some of them. I think the um, L90, as far as I saw, is on an iFixit teardown. I saw that the L90 had a full motherboard. It wasn't this and this. It was one together. So you have to replace the full motherboard, or you have to unsolder the charger, and you do that. But over here, there's that. That was where it connects to. That is the vibration. I don't know. And the, the speaker connects to these two prongs right here and right here. The other thing connects to here and here. I don't know what this is specifically. I think this is vibrator, vibration because I didn't see it in here. But then what you need to do is get something thin enough from your tool set again or something thin enough. This is um, not completely tweezers, but what it does is you pry off the little connections with it, you pull up the connections, you pull off the connections so you know you're not going to break anything. Um, I'm going to disconnect the camera just because that really is the safest option. Then that gets put to the side. I'm going to put it right over there. Facing up, I don't think it really matters that much because this really is a junker and I can always fix the uh, camera by buying a new one for cheap. And you place, take that off, and then what you're going to need to do is again, now make sure everything's off here, make sure everything's off here, you're going to pry up for a second, like this, grab your guitar pick again, and pry up, with, just pry up somehow or another. May not want to use that other thing because it's uh, going to damage it if it's not really completely damaged. Make sure not to, to destroy it. You have to bend parts to get parts up. Sometimes it can be hard because it sort of is glued on there because there is no, there are no screw right here. As you can see, all the screws were taken out. I would have known because I took this board out before. Um, but for some reason it's harder now than it was before. Okay, I heard that snap. Oh, that is connected up there, that's why. Okay, so as you can see, nothing snapped down here that was connected, that was Nothing. There's nothing destroyed. So if I really go like this, I don't want to destroy myself, but if I do go like this... The problem is there are no LEDs to show whether or not... So I'm just going to go like this. There are no LEDs to show whether or not this is connected. And also, over here, this is also a good way to, oh my gosh, so many notifications. This is a good way to show what's wrong. Sometimes I had a laptop where I did this to it. I took off everything, I put it back together. Turns out it was only the, the keyboard that was messed up. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to, you can put it back together if you want to, or this is just replacing it, but test it out. Like I'm doing, make sure it works. Make sure it's not just a connector issue on one of the connections. So then you replace the motherboard back with all the connections back, or if it one by one, if you really want to.
the one by one you can replace it, you can screw it back together. One, two, three. I'm gonna put in the other battery here. I know they all should be charged here. I wouldn't recommend licking them because it feels weird. Three. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Nothing. Okay, so once you replaced the uh, motherboard though, tested it out, make sure it works. Um, plop everything back on there. <sighs> oh my bag, for some things you need to use a microscope. For others, you just put back all the pieces to the puzzle, including this camera, which I really don't care too much about. But something. Okay, no part left behind, Grant. Okay, so this motherboard may be fried someplace, I really don't know. But one, two, three. Well, other than that though, you replace it and find out where the speaker is on your phone. But what you do is you go like this, make sure everything can snap in. There's no gaps. Snap everywhere. Now that there are no gaps, everything's back connected, and it is just a motherboard issue on this thing. It's a power issue from the motherboard, I believe. I would have to do more. You can put this away. You don't need that anymore. You can throw that across the room if you want. I don't want to, though. This is why you keep your screwdriver over here, and the type of screwdriver you need, 2.0. 2.0 screwdriver. You do it, put it back together. I'm gonna um, warp to where everything's back together, but if you want to, you can pause the video now and press play once it's done. So, one, two, three, pause. Okay, so I've done this, and I'm just gonna put the little uh, tar pick back in my case. Um, this cannot go off to the side. You can close it or keep it in case it doesn't really work correctly. You can close it though, put it away, which is what I'm gonna do, and then you can close your case up. So, that was really just the last of the case there. Here we go, that was, that was it. Done. Now what you do, insert your battery, put the backpack on, blah blah blah, phone turns back on, and it's good. But, if you did like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and see what phone you want me to do next.